Hello everyone, so today I'll be explaining why do ions have the charge that they do. So today we're going to dive into ionic bonding, which is basically when two substances, which are one non-metal and one metal, they join together to form an ionic compound by transferring electrons. So just a reminder that electrons the, especially the valence electrons, the number that that element has of valence electrons determines its uh, chemical properties and characteristics. So, as you probably have already studied, you will know that there is a trend on the number of valence electrons in the elements of each group. So, as you can see here, the group 1 elements will have one valence electrons in their last uh, shell, which is what valence means. And that same follows for group two, group three, group four, five, six, seven, and eight, not including the transition metals. But if we take an element from group seven, like chlorine, once it bonds ionically with an element from group one, you will see that the ion chloride will have a charge of minus one, but why? For you to figure out what charge an ion will carry, you must remember that electrons are negatively charged particles. And you can count electrons and protons as units. So if an element has seven protons, it will have seven electrons, the atom of that element. If it's an ion, it will have a different number of electrons beca because it either gained or lost an electron in order to have a full outer shell of eight electrons. The atoms, they are reactive and unstable because they want to have that full outer shell. That is why they react with other elements to form compounds because these other elements will have the electrons they need to form a full and stable outer shell of electrons. Let's work out the charge for the chloride ion in this classic ionic compound, sodium chloride. As we see, sodium is an element in group 1, therefore it has one valence electrons or one electron in its outer shell. The same goes for chlorine, it's an element in group 7, so it has seven valence electrons. And they ionically bond together. Sodium loses one electron, it being a uh, metal, and chlorine gains one electron from sodium, it being a non-metal, to have a full, stable outer shell with eight valence electrons. As the chlorine atom has now gained one electron, which is a negatively charged unit, it now has 18 electrons. It had 17 electrons because in an atom the number of electrons is the same as a number of protons so now it has only 17 positively charged units which are the protons in the chloride ion and it has 18 negatively charged units in the same ion so if we add we have minus one which is its charge but the compound has no overall charge because sodium has a plus one charge. If we do the same math as we did for the chloride ion, you can see that this is true. And the chloride ion has a minus one charge. Minus one plus one equals zero. So the compound has an overall neutral charge. That's it, guys. I hope that you found this video helpful. You can check out more videos in the website. If you have any other doubts and questions, you can message us. We'll be glad to make any other videos regarding any topic to clear them out. See you next time.